Hello and welcome to Midnight Guard Gaming. I'm your host Mid and we are playing Satellite Rain. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a nice beautiful sunny day where I'm at. Very cool temperatures, not too hot, not too cold. Could still wear shorts. Go outside and enjoy the enjoy my time taking some walks uh, at work and such. Uh, let's just double check make sure everything is up and running. So I'm trying to get a handle on exactly how much bandwidth I'm using streaming and because I went a little bit over my bandwidth cap my data cap last month with my service provider um, and I'm thinking that that had a lot to do with a bunch of like re-imaging re some of my uh, desktop computers at home um, all the patching involved with that but I want to just make sure that I'm not wasting bandwidth and data by doing stupid things while streaming like having two streams open at the same time on different computers while I'm playing the game and not watching either of them um, we're changing little things like uh, today I'm messing with my bitrate this week um, I changed it down downgraded a little bit and I'm gonna see if it makes much of a difference in the uh, quality of my my videos and such as I record so I don't think it's going to, and it might help my, my data, my bandwidth and all that. So that is that works for me. Just need to check some stuff on this side real quick. All right, so yep, looks like everything is running well on everything. I'm going to do one quick check on my other computer here. Just want to make sure that everything's up and running okay because uh, yesterday I had a lot of issues with OBS when I first started streaming. It kept crashing on me. I just want to make sure that everything's running okay. Yep, yeah, looks like it's good. All right. So, that being said. <sighs> If you've been watching over the weekend or any of my previous videos up to this point, um, I was playing Battletech over the weekend, having, had, having a good time with that. Um, I used to be... Okay, that was stuttering up there. Um, I used to be um, like a one-game person where I would just start playing like an MMO like Lord of the Rings Online or um, a game like MechWare Online, something, and I'd just focus completely on it. Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, I wouldn't play any other games. Um, so streaming has given me uh, the, the nice little kick of the butt of not playing the exact same game every single day. Um, so it keeps it kind of fresh um, and I'm kind of enjoying that currently. So that is working out nicely so far. Um, Cause it's like, yeah, I get up to where I'm going to, like the weekend's coming up and I'm going, ah, do I really want to play Battletech? And then once they start playing, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, this is a blast. I'm having fun. And then I was actually regretting or not looking forward to today coming in and starting to play Satellite Rain because I was like, ah, oh, it's having so much fun playing Battletech. But once I start playing this, I know I'm going to have a blast. So yeah, it's just interesting developing new, new habits and such. So um, yeah, we're making really good headway and now that I know I can use my relay beacons to jump between zones I can get to where I want to go even faster than I thought before um, as well as I up until last week I wasn't I didn't realize you can actually click on the map relay beacon locations and fast travel there I was actually like taking the time to scroll the entire map over there my visual and do it and it's like yeah I'm going to save so much time doing things this way now um, so yeah uh, I ended last week where we made really good headway in the grid um, I think we are down to just really we got a couple of smaller missions but the main one is going to be okay i thought i had done the eternals already oh there's another eternals compound okay i was like wait a minute what <laughs> i'm like i rated the eternals um well, let me clear this 
I rated the Eter the House of the Eternals. Okay, that okay. I have to change this <laughs> some names on my YouTube video then, because uh, I was calling it their uh, their primary their military compound, which it is not. <laughs> their military compound is down here, which we still have to do. Um, so we have the Dracogenics Guard Station right here. We're probably gonna knock that out tonight. Um, so we got that ping active. Uh, we'll do the Ronin droid repairs parts and storage let's activate that one as well because these are just gonna be small in and out ones I don't think they're gonna be too difficult um, we should be able to get those done before I take a break in about an hour the first hour of the stream um, and then we'll start working our way into the Drake agent or the uh, Eternals military compound their private military compound because yeah we got a lot of stuff to do in here um, we we'll probably won't finish it tonight but we might be able to get like two or three of them done possibly um but yeah we're, we're plugging along on the storyline so yeah we get these done like we'll probably be done in the grid tomorrow and headed uh, down to the industrial zone or district start working through all the missions there um yeah we're probably going to be done with the industrial zone by the end of the week on friday start moving into the business zone um, which is the final district before the end, like mini, di like mini zone where the, uh, which is the Dracogenics corporate headquarters. Oh, so, but hey, I'm in no rush. I'm just having fun with this. It's, it's been a blast playing it so far. So, all right. So we'll do these two first two missions. Where am I at? Okay, I'm over here. Um, well, while we're in here, I want to take a quick look at my log, see if there's any emails I have not read. Okay. From Barnes to Bishop. Archive medical logs decrypted. Dracogenics medical file 0073193. Subject st uh, Stephen Barnes. Full body consciousness transfer. 10 month review. Practitioner Dr. H. McCoy. Uh, Department Neuro Neurology Advancement notes patient has entered 10 month period of sedation. Neural function show marked improvement. Muscle tissue folk fuses, muscle tissue fused to augmentations. No evidence of host body rejection of new, consci new consciousness. Uh, Dracogenics Medical File 074235. Subject Stephen Barnes, designation Bishop. Report full body consciousness transfer final review. Practitioner Dr. H. McCoy, Department of Neurolo Neuro Neurology Advancement. Notes patient removed from sedation successfully. No evidence of new body rejection. Psych evaluations com psych evaluation complete. Post body transfer criteria testing complete. New identity implemented. All patient records updated from Barnes to Bishop. Bishop ready to commence active duty. First human summary, first human consciousness transferred to a new new host body considered successful. Second round of consciousness transfers approved. Candidates are segregated in isolation tanks. Interesting. I like all the little background stuff here. Oh, we have, oh, I was wondering, we got, oh, wow, we got a bunch of stuff. I didn't realize that we had more than just Dracogenics. All right, Uzi Corp, another one bites the dust. Um... March 21st, 2177, archive news report decrypted. Uzi Corp assassination rocks the industrial district. This story was published, uh, yep, yeah, okay. Authorities have identified the severed head found discarded in an Uzi Corp corporatia secure compound as Vadim Glazrin, nephew of the Uzi Corp regional leader Ev uh, Evgeny Glazrin. Uh, Vadr I'm just going to call him Vadrin. Vadrim played a crucial role within the Uzi Corp and was officially promoted to second in command when uh, Evigen assumed control as president of their industrial division. So far, blah, I can't say his name. Evigen, uh, Evgeny uh, has refused to comment on the death, but concerns are growing as to the level of violence he will resort to as retaliation for such an attack. The violent past of the Uzi Corp Corporation and internal wars of the three families who built the Uzi Corp Empire have been well documented throughout through the years, so it's safe to assume they will fight fire with fire. However, Evgeny has recently distanced himself from those family traditions and proved proven himself as a formidable leader responsible for expanding and legitimizing the business in the West, as highlighted by the substantial Uzi Corp share price rise in the last quarter. 
Recent reports have suggested the Waverns, a rogue group of a violent with a violent stranglehold on the downtown district, have been seen moving around the industrial district. If the Waverns are linked to this murder, unprecedented levels of violence are seemingly inevitable. 154,000 comments, 2.3 million shares. Letters home, archived email, encrypted March 2nd, 2189 from Victor to Papa. Okay, so 2189, this was 2177. So that's 12 years difference. Okay, 12 years later. From Victor to Papa, everything's going well. Papa, I'm settled in well in the I'm settling in well to the industrial district. Your love you'd love my new armor and weapons. They're miles ahead of what we were using back home. Talk about a massive leap in tech. I almost feel invincible on patrol. I know people back home think of Jenny's running of the industrial branch there uh, is running the industrial branch all wrong, but I think he just has his own approach. He even dropped by the barracks the other day to welcome the new recruits. Wouldn't see that back home. I'll be out of contact for the next few weeks with the anniversary of Vadim's death approaching. Security levels are extreme. You'd think in all the time that's passed, things would have settled down, but the Waverns are still out there. And even though it has never been, it was never made official that they murdered Vadim, everyone knows they're responsible. Got to run, heading off on patrol. Give Mama Chica, uh, or Mama, Mama Chica a hug for me, Vic. All right, so let's go look at Eternals. We had bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, this ain't your hood. Uh, September 13th, 2186. Archive news report decrypted. Uh, Eternals recruiter executed in brutal downtown attack. I think this is this guy. Uh, Jay Connor. Let's see if it is him. An Eternals recruiter was allegedly found hung outside a popular strip club, club earlier this evening. However, before authorities could investigate the crime, the body was removed. A witness to the event had the following to say. The dude was just strung up. Then these guys, I think they're, they're called acolytes, turned up and the next thing I know the whole place is clean. No blood, no nothing. All I'm saying is those Eternals are weird and have no business being downstream. This ain't their hood. This brutal death marks the fourth incident this week. So far, the disconnected have not commented in relation to these deaths, but rumors are swirling of their movement. More news to, uh, more news to follow. 121,000 comments, 1 1.3 million shares. Mother of God from Bishop. Okay, so Bishop is the first transference consciousness guy. Um, so he is alive and kicking, and I have a feeling we're going to probably end up facing him as well as Dangler at some point, since we're going to be taking them down. From Bishop to Dangler, Res Tech version 2.07, internal mole apprehended. We have isolated the internal mole responsible for the Res Tech version 2.07 incident. Logs display that how she gained clearance and access to code well beyond her administrative duties. Testing has since highlighted both a high tolerance for pain and aptitude for problem solving. How would you like to proceed, Bishop? Dengler to Bish from Dengler to Bishop. The sample results are surprisingly remarkable for a lowly administrator. Keep her sedated and in isolation. She might prove she might be useful in an upcoming upcoming project. The only way she lives now is for me eternally, so to speak. Well, tag and rabbit. Rabbit in the headlights. Uh, resistance is futile. This editorial is published on April 11th. I had to think of like four. What month is four? Uh, thinking uh, April 11th, 2179. Um, resistance is futile, or is it? Recent reports have focused on an emerging emerging group commonly referred to as the resistance, willing to risk their own lives for what they consider is the greater good. Increased sightings of their supposed leader, identifiable by his extreme leg augmentation and his constant hooded companion, have certainly contributed to a favorable favorable momentum swing, further highlighted by the growing number of iconic rabbit graffiti tags now littering the streets. Does the resistance have traction? Possibly, as evidenced by the heightened security presence and increased black op raids. So why are the main players so interested in disbanding the resistance movement? And who or, or and what or who is this greater good they're seemingly working towards? 
Coup to end all coups. Dracogenics incident report ResTech version 2.07 heist. Incident brief. Security breach can uh, occurred in West Quadrant Sector 5 with no sign of force entry. Sector 5 support team was assisting with resistance riot staged at central facility entrance. Dracogenics premises 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 infiltrated suspects escape with ResTech version 2.07 schematics. Security logs confirm Dracogenics Internal codes were utilized in security breach possible mole. Dangler approved priority one suspect tracking. Tech must be recovered at all costs. Only partial data of incident retrieved due to Knight Bishop altercation. Hmm. Task force established. Male suspect profiled as second stringer. Aged in late 20s with significant legwear upgrades. Currently tracing manufacturers for origin took damage to both legs and managed to escape despite being severe mobility and despite severe mobility impairment likely seeking repair slash replacement appears to be dependent on a high tech up high high-end tech upgrades not the not the strategic brains behind the breach female suspect profiled as main objective aged in late teens appears appearance hidden by dark hoodie and bandana distinct neon spray paint color noted on left index finger ongoing investigation to trace brand noted as agile and efficient extremely strategic leaning towards uh extremely strategic leaning towards established hacking skills so that's probably tag and rabbit's probably this other dude sorry for your loss yep Tag X to rabbit Y. Tag, you, uh, you keen to run some rooftops later? It's been a long time. Rabbit, the rooftops haven't been fun for me in a while. Not really my thing anymore. Or have you wiped that whole night out of your memory? Why the sudden surge of nostalgia? Uh, just feel like, uh, just feel like I need to stretch my legs. I've been swamped with this res, with these res tech encryptions. All back doors leading to their, to other back doors so far. I've asked my source for help to speed up the process. Your source, you're disclosing information which near your hold on a second, I need a drink. Your source, you're disclosing information which nearly cost us our lives to some unknown source? Why do you even care anymore? All our friends are dead. The resistance is never gonna pay us. The resistance is dead. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as the greater good. This is about me. Now, like you always said, said, uh, I've been offered a contract, my own team, my own agenda. Yet you're putting all your faith in your source. I thought, uh, I thought I'd taught you better. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Rabbit, user offline. Rabbit, user offline. Okay. Well, it looks like Rabbit got caught. Possibly. Um, okay, so let's go to research. Do we have any research we can start? Yeah, we got all sorts of research we can start. All right, let's start the overclocker. Yeah, we're going to lose some money. That's fine. Um, we have our mission control. Um, we're going to do this one. So let's just jump to there. Um, probably gonna want to recruit <laughs> recruit some new uh, soldiers for our cause. Oh, I just triggered. Well, that was a uh, uh, team stimulants, team stims. Hit that button and. They're moving really slow. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Um, okay, so we got an open door back here. We need to go grab some people, though. We got to have some foot soldiers here. Research complete iron lung. I had other research going? Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Cool, that drops it back down. Oh, I guess the iron lung was actually pretty cheap to do. Alright. Um, take a look here. 
I have like no one around here. Okay, we gotta go grab some people if we want to get in here. Because we need to get up to there. Eh, actually, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's the front door. Or actually, here's the front door. Let's go over here, take a look at this. This is probably going to be hooked up to some stuff in the compound, which it looks like it is. And I can brain jack through walls. So I can grab some of these guys here. Let's see if I can grab... Nope, they're not going to get close enough to me. Darn it. Alright, so this is hooked up to the cameras. That's going to be helpful. Um, what exactly do we have to do in here again? Um, this was... Dracogenics Guard Station. I don't think I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to get any... I'm not going to get any... Uh, prototypes out of this. But I'm going to send my infiltrator in, see if he could just sneak in there. Let's get everyone else up here. Just kind of chilling out in that area. Alright, we're going to get you. With your silenced weapon. Yeah, that's a whole lot of people. We're just going to move as fast as we can across here, get in and out as fast as we can. Go on in. We're going to cloak as soon as you get back out. Yep, they saw something. see him all right there we go oh I did actually get a prototype awesome all set that'll slow down the response and reinforcement times throughout the grid good work and I got uh, BM cranial bioplating version one I think nope I don't use that on any of my uh didn't use that on my past builds. Okay, so let's just get you back here. We're going to switch your weapon back out to your sniper. Let's select everybody. All right, so that's done. We're going to go to the next one now, which is right down here. All right, so this is probably going to be the closest one. All right, so. Oh, we got a duct. Oh, there's a turret in here. Oh, wonderful. So what we want is actually down in this building here. We definitely don't want to go past the turret, even though there's a nice inn right there. Yeah, I gotta get some soldiers.
Preferably ones without drones right behind them. Sheesh. <laughs> Veritas Industries. So there isn't really a good way of getting in over here. Oh, there is a door. Okay, so there is a door over here. Do this. I just wanted to take out that camera where we'll just brain jack some helpless civilian, hapless civilian, and have him go do it. Ooh, wow, that stirred up a hornet's nest. Okay. That's where I want to go. Uh, oh, someone wandered in. Who wandered in who shouldn't have been there? Oh. It was a Dracogenics guy. Oh, here comes a war between Dracogenics and them. Too funny. Too funny. Oh, researcher. We'll go grab him real quick. All right, my infiltrator's just taking his sweet time walking. He's just like, eh, whatever, man. Are right, you going to come out here, buddy? We're actually going to go grab this guy over here. Alright. Cool, we got him. So we got one guy. We can get that guy with shields to come back this way. That would be awesome. <clears throat> but we'll take these guys too. We'll grab whoever's in the back because they're both going to come this way and then turn around. Oh, we got two guys walking over here. All right. Dracogenics guys. All right. We're not going to do Jack Diddley. Oh, they're going to wander in there. Idiots. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, come on. Finish, finish, finish. Come a little bit closer, dude. You're 
just out of range. Ooh. What's up, guys? I'm going to follow you. You've got shields. Oh, never mind. You got two guys following behind you. I just want this guy to move. Oh, there we go. All right, wait for those guys to walk away. Don't move. Don't you move. Oh, we got a drone coming out here right towards us, damn it. Ain't doing anything anything illegal, man. Just don't nope, don't move, don't move. Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Stupid drone. It's a bunch of Uzi Corp guys, so hey. We can get in all their security. Okay, there's ammo. An ammo container there. Yeah, uh, we're not going back there to deal with that. We'll just go in hard and shoot everything. Because I don't want to deal with that turret. Although this little explodey guy up here is going to suck. Hey, Bill. Hey, Jim. Hey, Bob. Oh, here comes another guy who might wander in where he shouldn't be. Come on, Drinkogenics guys. Just wander on into that compound again. That, that's just great when you do that. Oh, here it goes. Here he Oh, nope. He's turning around. Darn it. Well, it is tempting just to have my uh, infiltrator sneak in. I think I might do that. Oh, here comes. Man, these guys just got to stop hanging around here. This just sucks. All right, we're going to get our fourth. I think we could have one more. He has a grenade, or she. Um, how many... How many... people can I brain hack? Um, hijack level 5? It doesn't really say. Oh, I could do one more. Okay. Well, yes, I will do one more. Ah! That's a Drinkogenics drone. Oh, it's all going to go to hell now. Oh, here comes a little scurrier. He's going to go blow up. I wanted him to blow up. Intruder detected. 
We might be able to snag him when he comes back. Uh, you guys are late. Already taken care of. Okay, we're gonna get this last dude. Yay! Put away your gun. Get over here. Um, yeah, I think I might just have my infiltrator sneak in and do this real quick and then we'll just have a full complement to go do uh, the Eternals military compound. Um, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna have them kind of move here. All right, wait for them to go away. Let's get your energy back up. We're going to duck in there real quick. Okay, it's replenishing. Come on. Let's have you run in there now. Let me get out. Oh, crud. Oh, crud, crud, crud. All set. Fred system's greenlit. It'll be way cheaper per drop. Speed of Fred designation increased. Acquired. Yeah, I've never used a, the Fred thingy. All right, you're out. Oh, that was that was cool. Did a little infiltration job there. All right, so that completed that. Um, all right, let's look at my different cl uh, little uh, captives here. See if there's any I really want to send back. Okay, that's an Uzi Corp commander. Yeah, these guys are going to get slaughtered when I send them into the Eternals area. Yeah, these guys are just going to get slaughtered badly. Alright, so let's look at... Oh wow, I got a ton of points to spend. Let's do this. All right, we're doing melee, but um, I want to start doing pack mule. I need to get my guys up to get more gear slots. Um, could do drone puppeteer. I mean, that's kind of cool, but I kind of want to just get my pack mule skills up. Hmm. Because the drones are actually... Pre I, I got to have Pack Mule unlocked. Otherwise, drone puppeteer is useless. So, yeah, we're just going to... Boom, boom. All right, so I got two levels of Pack Mule with my um, hacker now. Uh, we've maxed out those. Yeah, we're going to do Pack Mule on you, too. Boom, boom. You have... We'll give you another level of Pack Mule. Boom. Still need one. Oh, need four points for the final slot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's look at research. How far along are we? 72% on the overclocker. Okay, so go back to loadout. Um, 
weapons. I've got new pistols, don't I? I have like a plasma pistol or something. Oh, yes, I do. All right, so we got the laser repeater. Uh, whoa. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to get the plasma revolver. That's uh, pretty badass. The plasma pistol, not so much. It's a little bit more accurate, but doesn't really do the damage compared to this versus armor which we're running into a lot of armored opponents now so um yeah let's uh, just go through purchase oh i gotta be near a relay beacon okay so let's go to a relay beacon then uh, oh i was like what the hell's oh yeah it's a yeah all right we're just gonna go over here travel now i can do that load out the 5x morte plasma revolver I'm at a relay beacon. What the heck? How close do I have to be the damn thing? Got so many people. It's like a mob here. All right, let's try again. There we go. All right, I'm going to put... Hmm, that's ballistic, so that's actually not useful there. Uh, I should just take the laser targeting for right now. Plasma midi gun. God, I love that thing. Oof. Um, that's going to give me a six percent accuracy increase, so I might as well just do that. Um, all right. So next, we're going to go up oh, weapons there. Boom. Boom. Hacker, we're going to do the same. Boom. Boom. Um. I kind of like that you have that silence weapon. We're going to keep you with the silence weapon for right now. The big boy here. All right, so let's see. Laser, you have the Lance Laser sni uh, Lance Sniper Rifle. It's a ballistic, it looks like. Um, we got the Thanatos Laser Sniper. Okay, so this is 90% accurate, 43 damage. Okay, does slightly less. Okay, 85, 28, 85. 85, 28, 85. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to get the laser sniper rifle because that is significantly better. Let's get the laser targeting on that. So you have a 96% accuracy then. Yeah, that thing's bad. That That is badass. It's going to do a lot more damage. It's like three times the damage versus shields and inorganics. So that's uh, inorganics are um, the, the little robots and drones. As well as, I believe, turrets would fall into that category because they're not organic, obviously. Um, okay, so let's go back to them. Oh, we got the plasma rifle now. All right, so we got the CR-12. This was, I think, their base starter one. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, let me go back here real quick. Um... Okay, the Lincoln 40, uh, 405 revolver, the 405 nicknamed the Dirty Harvey, is a classic piece of kit. This revolver is old stock, but extremely reliable and a heavy hitter. It was the mainstay sidearm for police forces up until the advent of cheaper, but slightly weaker, mass-produced P97s. Uh, the... The LS-19 features an unparalleled array of focusing mechanisms, allowing it to keep a razor-sharp focus over extended distances. Nice. <laughs> Puts a red dot on what you want the bullet, or where you want the bullet to go. Um, all right, so let's go back to them. The 5X Morte plasma revolver. The 5X Morte is the biggest hand cannon on the market. The rotating chamber houses five 47 millimeter plasma slugs that provide a quick, quite a kick. 
This slug eats through even the thickest armor. Nice. Oh yeah, and they'll have like cool looking uh, graphics when you're firing them. Because it'll be uh, purple bolts, uh, energy bolts, where the lasers are going to be blue. Um, okay, so we want to actually upgrade you to an M, uh, a plasma M41A rifle. Ooh, that's sweet looking. Um, M41A uh, plasma rifle. I just think of a uh, colonial marines and aliens. Um, while fired at a high velocity, the nature of the superheated plasma slugs means this class of weapon have a lower rate of fire than its ballistic and laser alternatives. However, nothing can compete when it comes to, to armored targets. During firing, the barrel is flash cooled between ejections to alleviate overheating. Before the addition of flash cooling, earlier models had a tendency to explode in the user's face after prolonged fire. Believe me, plasma burns are not pretty. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to probably go with that because, let's see, CR-12 is a, a little bit more accurate. Um, with its increased accuracy, damage, and range, Lincoln Ballistic CR-12 Assault Rifle is a true star. That probably accounts for why it is one of the most popular black market weapons out there. Firing in short bursts to maintain accuracy, the CR-12 Assault Rifle is the weapon of choice for any medium to long range shooter. Um, so, all right, uh, 3.25, 2, 2, and 2, basically. 3.25, 2, 2, and 2. Okay, so this is really good against armor. Bigger magazine size. It's a slower rate of fire, slightly. I think because we're running into a lot of armor, I think it's going to be better to have these. So let's do that. Throw your laser targeting back on. You're going to get one, too. Yeah, because they'll give you 94% accuracy. Um, you have a minigun, so yeah. Everyone's got plasma, except for my, my uh, infiltrator. All right, so let's look at gear. I have another empty slot. Um, I had an ammo, pa ammo pack and a remote satchel explosive before. Yeah, I want to get some heavier shields and armor. Got a frag grenade. Um. Oh, stealth generator. I was like, wait a minute, what? Oh. Um, augs. Um. I need a wet wet corp weapon slot so I can carry a second heavy weapon. Um, I get that up in the Eternals military compound as one of my rewards. All right, so. Everyone else basically has the things that they're going to go with. Okay, empty slot on firewall protection. That's what I go for for this one. All right, that's fine. Um, all right, so it looks like we're good. Um, let's get back to Eternal's private military compound. All right, we got to start doing some pings on some of this stuff. <clears throat> Um, the Eternals love their combat augs. They don't skimp on the external hardware either. They run their own private military company, like most major corps. Religious wackos with a private army. What's not to love? Their armory is near the barracks. There's got to be some good stuff locked up in there. Um, we can get prototypes and RS09 Chimera laser SMG. Um, we can get more uh, R7 light shields. Extended extended mags. I hate that they call them clips. It's not clips. It's mags. Um, clips are like paper clips, for crying out loud. Um, blueprints. Extended plasma canisters. R2-D2. That will be useful for all my plasma weapons, I have a feeling. All right, let's activate the pink. Oh, it's right there. All right. Let's go back. That's the armory. Let's go to Security HQ. Their Security HQ is basically an admin building, and that means lots of data flowing around for the taking. They shouldn't have much by way of hardware available, but there'll be plenty of information we should be able to snatch. Keep your hacker on their toes in there and see what you can find in the system mainframe. Uh, we can get extended ion batteries, the C-3PO variant, 
and a plasma M8 plasma shotgun. Nice. So that's back there. All right. Eternals research and development. The Eternals love their augmentations, which means the grid, the whole grid's pre peppered with research and development facilities. One lab always stands out as a juicy target, though, and we're about to hit it. There are rumors that all sorts of nasty stuff happens in this joint. Illegal human experiments, for starters. But no one's been able to make the charges stick. Eternals lawyers just freeze everything up in the in the courts. Well, we don't need courts, we need augmentations. If we can crack their outer security, the scientists inside would be should be easy pickings. Get your infiltrator inside, and we could make a real killing here. Um, yeah, we could get that weapon slot, the wet corp weapon slot. That's what I want. Um, the BM Brachium by bi Arm Biofibers version 1. Uh, version one. Nah, it's back there too. All right. So Eternals Researcher Extraction. Oh, this one's going to be a pain because we'll have to escort them out. Hopefully they're near an exit. Uh, we got an, in, we, we've got an Eternals Researcher who's had enough of their cult bullshit. She signed up to help people, but she's realizing they're hurting them. Problem is, an extraction won't be easy. If we can get them out, though, they'll owe us. And with a mind this sharp, they will really help us take out Dracogenics. So they're back here as well in the research and development area. Yep. Okay, so that's going to be a fun one. We get them and we probably have to make a beeline over to this direction. All right. Um, corporate sabotage. You know how I said Uzi Corp and the Eternals hate each other? I just got a tip that might help, might let us make friends or at least get our enemies to distract each other and make our life easier. I say we follow up. Uh, we've got an Uzi Corp rep waiting. He's right here in the grid. The security footage places him at Tabington Heights. The grid apartments go get him near the downtown grid checkpoint stands Tabington Heights. The grubbiest apartments in the district, but they're high class living compared to most of the city. Okay, we already did that. All right, we've got... So we've got Uzi and the Eternals in a defensive war right now. Both of them are trying to market their sexy, shiny new protective wear that'll be the height of corp security fashion in coming months. Uzi's got some armor. Eternals are taking upgraded shields, talking upgraded shields. Uzi wants us to sneak in and sabotage the Eternals prototype just before a big dem demo with shareholders. Not steal it, but hack it. It overloads during a live demo and the broad channel live stream. Uh, Uzi's gonna smell like roses. What's more, they're willing to give us their fancy new armor as payment. Nice. Um, I've marked the prototype storage location in the military compound. Go install this hacked firmware and we're good to go. I can get shielding R60-5 or slash 5 and heavy body armor. I think that might be heavy shields. All right, so we got two in here and two in here. Or not. Nope, two in here, two in here, one in here. All right. Um, with this, though, I'm at the perfect point to take a quick five-minute break, which I'm going to do now, and then when we get back, we have an hour to go in and see if we can actually, what we can knock out in the Eternals military compound. Of course, my five flunkies are all Uzi Corp, so they can't get me through the doors so i might just send some of them away um or use them as fodder and snag some start trying to snag some of the uh, guards out of the eternals um, but anyway let me set my timer real quick all right so, I will be back in about five minutes. See you soon. <laughs> 